Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and now game 3 in this series, Happy vs. Bly. So far, I have been very happy to cast this series for you guys, as the games have just been that entertaining. Happy spawning as the Red Terran player this time around at what I will call the 3 o'clock position of Terminus. Meanwhile, Bly spawning as the Orange Zerg. So it is going to be uh, Zerg versus uh, Zerg versus Terran here on Terminus. Let's make sure. Yes, there are destructible rocks here at the third base, and there is no way to lead them into here. So it looks as though it is going to be an easy three bases for a Zerg player, but it's going to be a little bit of a difficult fourth base as a Terran player. Now, I hear a lot of these discussions going back and forth saying, um, you know, if it's easy for a Zerg player to get three bases, then it's easy for a Terran player to get, and, or a Protoss player to get three bases, such as on Antigua Shipyard. And that's some of the reasons why Zerg players don't re really like Antigua Shipyard. And the only comment I have to say to that is, there's a lot more strategies in StarCraft 2 that we have yet to see. The game is still rather young. I mean... StarCraft 1 in Brood War, we saw strategies for years and years after it was being developed. Meta games constantly change or you know changing consistently. I want to say constantly, but changing pretty consistently. And and with that, we saw new strategies. And um, I think it is going to be a little bit of time, but at some point Zerg players may be able to start executing two base builds or um, three base builds with that third with the third hatchery being a macro hatch and being very, very effective, um, as a lot of Terran players and Protoss players normally just think, you know what, if you have your third base, you're just going to continue to macro, and that doesn't need to be the case. Drone and SCB continuing to battle it out. Who comes out on top? Oh, the drone at three hit points, able to barely run away. Meanwhile, we should be training up a Marine and also adding up a reactor here. It looks like it's just going to be straight up Hellions. So no Marine going to be trained at all, waiting for that reactor, and we are going to get a little bit of map control by Happy. Happy does need to build up a Supply Depot, otherwise he will be Supply Blocked. Um, now he is upgrading to an Orbital Command, first sitting at 17 over 19. Um, supply Depot should be coming in momentarily, as we now see an SCV from Happy just wandering around on the inside of this base. He's just going to take a good look, see everything that he needs to see, sees the spawning pool now coming into play, and also going into the extractor. We see a double supply depot now being established. That's a little bit of a curious move, as he's not going to really be able to jump up that quickly, or perhaps he will, since he does have a factory with a reactor on it. He will be training up about four supply every 30 seconds, and I believe that is the amount of time that it takes to build a supply depot if I am not mistaken, and I am not mistaken. So there you go. So he is sitting at 22 over 35 now. He could have delayed it just a little bit, just chain build those SCVs, and or chain build those supply depots. But I'm not gonna question Happy, as Happy is the one playing this game here, and now Hellions are being added on into the field. So two Hellions now making their way across the field. SCV is not gonna be able to escape, as we now see the Zerglings and drones backing away you're going to see the queen pretty much sit itself on the ramp and say you know what you can't get in and you can flame this building all you want not much is going to happen two zerglings quickly taken down not very much map control at all and what these hellions can do now is they can actually battle it up and try to take down these queens but with roaches on the field Bly and um, really responding well to the number of hellions by getting roaches and making sure that the roaches can destroy those hellions very very easily we are going to see the queen now finally start taking care of this hatchery down over here four hellions three roaches the roaches getting in some easy splashes already the queen now going back onto the ramp and there's really not much that can be done beautiful play by Bly as Bly denies the uh, denies the the trip in we are now going into a factory at the tech lab or a tech lab on the factory we are going onto a reactor on the barracks here 
and still am adding on more and more. We are doing a double expand by Happy. So Happy should be able to get in a lot more SCVs in just a moment. Overlord is in position here and here as well. We are going into that third Overlord. It will be scouting out this location. And we also see an Overlord by Bly keeping track of the gas. I'm, I'm sure Happy does see that Overlord just getting caught right in plain sight. But I believe Happy doesn't want to move any Marines over just quite yet. Roach is now moving and taking their positions in the field. The Hellions may be, yes, forced to drive away. They don't want to battle it up against a Roach since that Roach does have, uh, does have more hit points and does deal more damage. Salvaging of the bunker on the front door. We are going into siege tanks with siege tech. One siege tank here is pretty much all you need in order to cover this entire walkway with siege tank fire. Roaches have a very difficult time as they do generally clump together. And by clumping together, it maximizes the damage that the siege tanks can do. Marines now making their way underneath and getting in some easy shots onto that overlord already. Bly looks like he will lose that overlord. Down it goes. Didn't stand much of a chance as Happy is setting up his siege tank up on that high ground. Perhaps another on the low ground here would complete this wall in attempt. And now we are going to have a two base Happy versus a two base Bly. But Bly is also setting up that macro hatch. Double extractors now being placed down. We are transferring some SCVs over to the natural expansion. Double engineering bay coming in as well. So Terran. Opting to go bio once more, not doing any, do any mech style of play, and we'll see if this works. And so far, um, it's one and one. It, it, it's a really, really tried strategy. But then again, happy, um, happy has fended off that early hellion pressure, unlike in game two. So he is sorry, Bly has fended off that early hellion pressure, pressure unlike in game two. So he right now has the economic lead, 54 drones, 35 SCVs. And also the destructible debris should be falling here. And with that, a new hatchery will be established. And this is going to be a very, very strong economic advantage for Happy since he's able to saturate these bases rather quickly. All right. Um, taking a look at this, the destructible debris looks like it will be falling in just a second. A new command center is already being lifted off and will be landing there momentarily. And with that, that is going to be absolutely huge as Happy is going to be able to mine from three bases as well. He doesn't have the SCV support to really do so, but the additional um, just being able to mine and also being able to call in mules to really start strip mining this location should help him out tremendously. Roach is still battling it up back and forth, but Happy much more in production. But we now also see a transition into Mutilus. Mutilus now in the skies looking to uh, perhaps rain down some glaive worms onto these SCVs. A missile turret already being established. One Marine on patrol. That Marine on patrol will get shot down. He sees a swarm of Mutilus and in comes the Mutilus taking down the mules, taking down another mule, three mules, taking down the SCV, building that missile turret as the Marines try to clean it up. Another SCV going to get destroyed. There's a cancellation on the missile turret there as the Mutilus are pretty much going to have free reign inside here. Another missile turret um, stopped in production as well as we're now going to see Marines just try to poke and get some damage here. Another SCV does get destroyed. SCV is now making their way over. Are they? Yes, they are going to be able to repair it. The missile turret is on fire but now the SCVs are going to be able to repair it there and the Mutilus out pretty much had a very very small window of opportunity to be effective and that is what you just saw the double missile turrets over here killing many of those Mutilus that is not a good trade whatsoever and now Bly either needs to invest more into the into this Mutilus count or transition into something else Bly Looks like he wants to do the transition. No, he wants to do both. He's going to be double expanding and also adding more into this Mutilus count. Right now, we have eight or seven on the field, eight more on the way. Level one um, flyer upgrade attack now coming in as the SCV is going to work trying to mine from these bases here. Is it going to be effective as the Mutilus look to cause a little bit more harassment? Siege tank still added. Medevac. Not in production, no reactor on there either as we are going into level 1 weapons upgrade. Here we go, Bly now sitting on, I believe, what is that, 13 Mutilus, 13, 15 Mutilus now. 
more mutilists no longer being added i believe that's all the mutilists on the field and they may try to just simply charge in here to destroy those missile turrets and here we go one missile turret already down the second missile turret gonna get taken down as well yes it goes down two missile turrets already down marines now making their way over it looks like another scv gets taken down there and this is just causing problems the scvs no, no what, what's going to happen the mutilists are going to be going after that missile turret here no taking down another scv taking down scvs very easily as the marines unable to get over and underneath these mutilists so far this is just buying time for Bly to transfer drones from halfway across the map into his new base and Bly is looking very sharp as these mutilists are just engaging against missile turrets but being very very just strategic about it in the overall game sense happy has no idea what's going on no he does he does have a he somehow did scout out these bases here and now Bly running on 8 gas or no 10 gas soon. That is going to be something to behold. A 10 gas Zerg here on Terminus Ray. Infestation pit now being added. You can see Zerg even though he is running on 10 gas. Still behind in gas overall. Mutilists are very very gas intensive. A thick look at the income. 900 there. Mutilists are now backing away once more. The siege tanks. And the Marines' bathings are going to be on a roll. What's going to, what's going to happen here? As a Marine taking down another, or a Zergling taking down another Marine. Zerglings and Mutilus still battling up Marines and Marauders pushing forward. What's happening? The Marines are going to try to chase, unable to get there at all. As the siege tanks are still very carefully fighting on creep. They are just moving forward here. Bainings going to be crashing up against all of these units. Marines and the Marauders are backing off. Siege tanks do not want to be exposed, exposed too much in the center portion of the map. We are now sitting at 46 supply difference between these two armies. And still, Happy has no idea or has a good idea of how far behind he is. Bly opting to not mine the gas from these two extractors that he's already established. And here we go, the Mutilus. Oh, getting taken down. The Marines are upgraded 2-2, dealing a lot of damage there. No medevacs, though. So these Marines are just stimming themselves to death. A medevac now doing a single drop here into the main base. Drones are getting taken down. Happy utilizing this drop in order to get some kills in meanwhile down over here zerglings trying to get a decent surround siege tanks are in position and ready to already destroy this banelings now trying to get back down as well as the siege tanks realize that they are far far too exposed and should perhaps just be trying to establish an expansion here at the center three o'clock location mutal is now coming in uh, looks like they will not be able to chase away those marines and uh, still battling it out one or a group of marines still pushing in the mutilist count now getting into the 20s so 20 mar uh, 20 mutilists in the skies that is a lot of banelings as well 199 supply 78 drones zerglings banelings siege tanks all just going to absolutely destroy all of those units as the siege tanks are an absolute meat grinder for these low hit point units here we go zerglings and banelings trying to crash their way in Gonna to absolutely destroy many of these units here siege tanks zerglings banings destroying time after time and a beautiful crashing of units allowing the mutilists now to clean this all up marauders are getting destroyed we are going into a thor now and the thor may be exactly what you need as bly will be at least forced to um, try and magic box siege tank after siege tank now getting pushed back here this is not looking good happy has no real way to counteract this there's not enough units on the field a thor even if it does make its way out needs to get over there where is the thor i don't see it even though i i saw that there was one being trained marines now making their way over here perhaps going to deny some gas but the zerglings are now just being trained and being flooded 30 Zerglings now being added onto the field. Another missile turret going to get taken down. There is a siege tank. There is a Thor now being added once more. It looks like the siege tank over here will fall down. SCVs, another group of Zerglings now running into the third base. And I believe this will be GG as the Mutilists with 2-0 upgrades have dominated the skies and dominated this game. Thor now finally makes its appearance, does get off one kill, and that Thor needed to arrive about two minutes earlier in order to really fend off the attack. Zergling is now just going to crash in as well. Mutilus now magic boxing the Thor, trying to take down the rest of the units, but Happy pretty much down to 50 supply, and that is going to be it. I believe Happy will be giving the GG in just a second. Zergling still crashing and taking down the starport here. 
Um, Starport is going to fall in just a moment. Marines are backing off. It looks like the factory wants to land. Zergling still running back home as the missile turrets all getting cleaned up. Happy really delaying this GG. And I believe that is pretty much going to be it. 51 supply versus 152. The Marines have cleaned up a hatchery off over here. They have cleaned up those two bases, but that may be too little too late. It is now two bases to three. Harvester count 21 compared to 62, but Ultralis now making their way into the field. 2-2 two, two upgraded Ultralis. The Marines are not going to be able to do much, if anything, at all. One burrow Zerling preventing any sort of landing. And here we go. Here comes these Ultralis Zerglings and Banelings starting to chomp away at these units. And there is the GG. Happy losing game three. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.